Have you ever ridden a bicycle sideways? What about riding while gliding? Relax and enjoy the ride as we check out seven crazy bicycles you have to see to believe. These days, it seems like everything is getting smaller from our apartments, electronics, and our paychecks. Our cars are getting smaller too, as is their trunk space. If you own a bicycle, you've probably noticed that your trunk will usually only hold about half your bike. Too bad you can't ride around on half a bicycle. Or can you? Actually, you can, if you happen to own a Halbred half bike. Created by German-born inventor Felix Kuchart, the Halbred, German for half bike or half wheel, is exactly what it claims to be, half a bike. It's only about one meter in height and 79 centimeters long. Weighing in at just 9 kilograms, the Halbrad's tiny handlebars are located behind the seat which sits atop a small frame connected to one standard size rear wheel and one small pedal-driven front wheel. At first glance, with the handlebars behind the seat, you'd think the Halbrad would be hard to ride, but in this video, Crucharts makes it look so easy. This is a bike you can pretty much take anywhere, but in Germany, at least, there may be one small problem. As reported by The Local, all bicycles must have two independent brakes, according to German law. The Halbrad has only one, for now. So if you think riding half a bike isn't such a half-baked idea after all, you can find out more about the Halbrad at halbrad.de. It's in German, so good luck with that. Have you ever had someone look at you sideways? That's usually not a good thing, unless you're riding one of the world's most unusual bicycles, the snowboard bike from Boston inventor and multi-patent recipient Michael Killian. To ride the snowboard bike, the rider actually sits sideways, turning the head forwards as if riding a snowboard. Even the pedals are operated in a side-facing position. A safety bar helps hold the rider in position. The snowboard bike involves both wheels in the steering process with a separate handlebar for each wheel. This results in a smooth, swooping motion while moving forward. Perhaps the biggest difference from riding other bicycles is that because the rider is actually moving sideways instead of forwards, the rider must use front-to-back balancing instead of normal side-to-side -side balancing traditional riders experience. This adjustment, together with having to steer both wheels with separate hands, makes riding the snowboard bike a mesmerizing experience. Word of advice, if you're out cycling and happen to see Mr. Killian going by, try not to get so distracted, you fall off your own bike. Find out more at sidewaysbike.com. If you're someone who loves to run, you know it's a great way to stay in shape. Unfortunately, it's also true that injuries can and do occur. According to a 2010 study by the Sports Medicine and Athletic Revealed Trauma Institute, about 65% of all runners will be injured in any given year. Recognizing this, entrepreneur Steve Kranich and prolific bike builder Dr. Henry Thomas have invented the Bionic Runner. The Bionic Runner's patented mechanism is designed to put an end to impact injuries by perfectly simulating the timing and motion of running. In addition, it far outperforms old-school ellipticals and cross-training devices. In a recent study, the Bionic Runner was able to reach the maximum heart rate achieved on an elliptical in half the time, making for a much more effective exercise session. With an 8-speed internal gear hub, the Bionic Runner performs well on almost any terrain. It also has front and rear disc brakes for those times when coming to a stop is critical. The frame is sturdy and completely foldable for easy transportation. Now available at run4.com, you can purchase your own Bionic Runner for $1,490. Over the years, some really crazy flying machines have been invented, and occasionally, someone actually gets it right. In England, the Explore Air Company has invented a real flying bicycle. It's called Paravelo, and though it's definitely one of those crazy flying machines, it really works. The Paravelo is a single-speed aluminum bicycle with a strong but lightweight aluminum airframe trailer that's towed from behind. Attached to the airframe is a three-blade propeller powered by a biofuel-burning Parajet Volution two-stroke 22-horsepower engine. A nylon paracel and body harness is stowed in a backpack. Flight preparations include connecting the airframe, spreading out the paracel, putting on the harness, and strapping on a seatbelt. Once the engine is engaged, the paracel opens and forward motion begins. 40 feet later, you're in the air. 
The Paravelo cruises at 25 miles per hour in altitudes of up to 4,000 feet with a range of 75 miles. During flight, the Paravelo is steered by alternately pulling on the parasail risers. Though some jurisdictions don't require a license to fly a Paravelo, parasail training is highly recommended. For about $45,000, you can get your own Paravelo at ExploreAir.com. Getting bored with your workouts lately? If so, you may soon have a solution that will really get your exercise juices flowing once again. It's the Twicycle from musician and inventor Boyan Rista. Rista says he's always wondered why bicycles didn't take advantage of the front wheel as an additional source of power. Realizing that there was no commercially available product that employed this idea, he decided to create his own. Now, with the Twicycle, he's done that and more. By connecting a power chain from the front wheel to a set of rotating handlebars, not only is the Twicycle a powerful two-wheel drive bicycle, but it's an effective and exciting way to work those muscles. The Twicycle lets you take in the sights while simultaneously working your upper and lower body. The rider has a choice of working the legs by only using the pedals, working the arms by using the handlebars, or both at once for an intense, exciting full-body workout. When powering the front wheel, the rider can lean onto a chest pad for support. This also protects the rider from the front chain. Check out Twicycle.com for all the latest information. If you think it might be fun to go hang gliding, but you're afraid of heights, you might be interested in this crazy bike, the Street Flyer. Designed by Dr. Karsten Mayring, the Street Flyer simulates the feeling of hang gliding without the dangers of real flight. After all, with a top altitude of about three feet, you probably don't have to worry about wind shear or bird strikes. The Street Flyer has a three-wheeled, arched frame design with two wheels in the forward position. Riders are strapped in from a hanging body harness with hand grips toward the front for steering and braking. To get going, the rider uses good old foot power or a little help from some friends. After gaining enough forward momentum, the feet are placed on the rear foot rest and the feeling of flying is achieved. Dr. Mayring's patent pending design utilizes a carbon fiber frame, but a heavier version called the Moev was recently prototyped by a group of students at the Colorado School of Mines in Golden, Colorado. Various future designs are also envisioned by Dr. Mayring, including a winged, motorized flying version, as well as a configuration for use in physical therapy. To find out more, see the link in the description section below. Since bicycles were invented in the early 1800s, designers have experimented with both large and small wheel sizes. One bike prototype that provides both is the Lunartic Hubless Bike from the UK's Laboro Design School student, Luke Douglas. The Lunartic utilizes one large and one small wheel, though it isn't the first to do so. In fact, many early bicycles used this concept with the smaller wheel placed in the rear. The Lunartic does just the opposite, placing the smaller wheel in the front, saving space and resulting in greater control and more precise steering. Probably the most visually striking aspect of the Lunartic is the hubless rear wheel. Since there's no hub, there are also no spokes, leaving onlookers to wonder how the wheel is connected to the bike. The answer lies inside the circumference of the rear wheel, where a bottom bracket or horizontal axis connects the crank arms to the wheel. Instead of a metal chain, which can develop kinks, the Lunartic hubless bike is powered by a belt drive system with small, rigid teeth. The Lunartic prototype was a finalist in both the 2010 James Dyson Awards and South Korea's Seoul Cycle Design Competition. Though the Lunartic has yet to progress past the prototype stage, its innovative design is still turning heads across the internet and among the bicycle design community. So, what do you think? Which one of the seven is the craziest? Let us know in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe for more great videos and also don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching.